how do you measure the health of a person there are some medical tests like you know uh, blood sugar level or uh, urea creatinine level or some ecg test we can take or on a, on a broad level we can also do a body mass index bmi you know uh, examination so there are way, many ways by which we can measure whether a person is healthy or not similarly how do we measure a particular company is healthy or not there are many ways by which we can measure uh, so that is called as kras and kpis that's what we are going to learn in detail today come let's get started Hi there my name is Anand and I am your trusted lean manufacturing implementation partner and today in this video we are going to learn about KRA and KPIs and we can uh, we are going to discuss about what are some of the key uh, performance indicators for our production quality maintenance and other departments in a typical manufacturing organization so what are these KRAs and KPIs KRAs are the broad results which we are trying to measure for example in that example I told Uh, how do we measure the health of a person so health here is a kra key result area we are going to measure the health of a person and how are we going to measure it what are the indicators for that so that is that B- bmi test or blood sugar level test you no know, cholesterol your uh, ecg so these these are all various indicators for that health similarly in a company in a production department for example the productivity is one of the key result area and how are we going to measure the key result area that is through kpis key performance indicators for example for uh, a productivity we have output for the day what is the planned output versus actual output achieved that can be a good kpi similarly machine utilization rate that can be a good kpi for quality the rejection rate rework rate right and first time acceptance rate these are all some of the indicators for safety you know number of accidents number of incidents people Uh, who are all using the uh, personal protective equipments right how many person people are using it uh, so that can be a good kpi so kpi means the indicators which will help you in measuring the result and kra is the broad you no know, top level you no know, the result we are trying to achieve so let us look at this kpi slightly in detail so kpis are measurable metrics that are used to evaluate the success of an organization or a team or a particular department or a particular project whether it is it has achieved the goals and objectives and the kpis are generally quantifiable they are objective and usually focused on the critical areas that are vital for the success of the particular organization so if we look at the kpis for production department what are those kpis the first one can be monthly plan versus actual right what is the plan and what how much we have achieved that can be a good kpi and then alignment percentage this alignment is the customer schedule or the demand is for a particular you no know, set of items have i completed that and dispatched that have i met that particular order instead of that if i am producing some other items you no know, the volume may be the same but we have not aligned with the customer's demand so alignment percentage is a good kpi and then yield yield means i am giving in 100 uh, kgs of raw material and how much output i am getting right if i take 100 kgs of raw material and i'm converting 98 percentage to raw, uh, finished goods then 2 percentage becomes a scrap or you know it becomes rejection so can i increase this number from 98 can i bring it to 99 that can be one good kpi similarly oee for critical machines overall equipment effectiveness for the critical machines that can be a good kpi and productivity per person or output per person that can be a good kpi for a production department another good kpi for production department is the number of improvement projects the department is doing to reduce the reworks and rejection to improve the productivity etc that can be a good kpi for production department next we are moving to the quality department in quality we have the rejections and rework no typical data which most of the companies they do monthly rejection rate monthly rework rate and then first time acceptance rate how many pieces or how many product how much of production we are accepting in the first time that can be a good kpi and then number of customer complaints right Uh, uh from the field that can be a good kpi corrective and preventive action whatever they have initiated the quality department that can be a good kpi again here also the improvement projects that are uh, implemented to reduce the rejections and reworks that can be a good kpi and then we are going to maintenance department in maintenance the objective is to make sure that the machine does not break down and the machine is available for production whenever it is required correct right? so the kpis are number of hours of machine breakdown 
uh, right that can be a good kpa it should be zero obviously you know the breakdown should be zero that is a good kpa and adherence to preventive maintenance schedule whether our company is making the schedule and adhering to that that can be a good kpa and mean time to repair and uh, mean time between failures mttr and mtbf that can be a good kpas uh, how much time i mean mean time to repair is how much time it takes to repair the particular machine on an average that is mean time to repair and mtbf means mean time between failure right what is the average time duration where the machine is running between the failures so this should be high right so mttr and mtbf can be a good you no know, kpas again uh, the maintenance department should focus on uh, reducing the repeat complaints repeat breakdowns of a particular machine and what are the actions they are taking to reduce these you know uh, uh, breakdowns and you know repeat complaints that can be a good kpa for maintenance department then let's move on to purchase department for purchase department the kpas can be number of stock outs in a month the closing stock value and the inventory turnover that can be a good kpa and monitoring the materials or items which are crossing the pl- uh, planned lead time uh, generally the lead time of the material is uh, entered in the in, into the erp and uh, many times people don't revisit the planned lead time in many cases we have found the lead time will be uh, very uh, significantly different from what is entered in the erp which leads to a lot of stock outs so what we suggest is every 6 months at least for the critical items you have to measure the lead time you no know, and adjust in that erp uh, the lead time is the purchase order when we have raised to the suppliers and the grn the, that is the material reached our gate so this is the lead time this should be ad- monitored closely for at least for the critical uh, items a category items so that can be a good kpa and vendor evaluation uh, vendor evaluation vendor rating you know whether our purchase department is doing or not identifying the critical suppliers and how to strengthen them these are all the good kpis for purchase department and then we move on to production planning for production planning the kpis are how many changes they are doing in a month right and every time there is a plan change there are a lot of uh, issues which happen in the shop floor and uh, most of the time you know uh, people they normally crib or they complain that there are too many changes in the shop floor so can we reduce the changes that that is a good kpi for planning department our on time delivery performance that is a good kpi again we here we talk about on time in full that is on time delivery that is meeting the target date in full is the exact quantity which is required by the customer so are we meeting both the target dates as well as the quantity asked by the customer so that is the otif we are talking about here and the number of hours lost due to changes in the plan that can be a good kpi and uh, what are the initiatives that the planning department has taken to reduce the lead time of the pro- pro- product that that is a good kpi right imagine uh, you are in a particular product where the lead time the customer is giving is 30 days right and if you are able to produce the material in 25 days it's a good you no know, um, improvement so are the is the planning department focusing on those activities activities done to reduce the wap right how can i reduce the overall inventory you know in the system Uh, including wap so those are the things which planning department can focus before we go to the next department uh, if you like this particular video you can uh, subscribe to our channel and you can also click the bell icon so that whenever we post a new video you will get a notification you can forward this video to your uh, friends and contacts who are in the industry so that they can also learn about kras and kpas let us go to stores in stores the kpas can be monthly consumption report and monthly you know uh, stock report and you know uh, whether they are you know uh, according to the plan or there is any big de- deviation that can be measured and stock discrepancy the discrepancy means uh, the difference between the physical stock and the book stock and the system stock right so is there a big difference so that can be a good kpi and stock out report again uh, in collaboration with purchase department they have to do and in stores we can also talk about abc analysis and ordering techniques is the stores uh, preparing an abc report identifying the critical components right based on the consumption value right unit price into consumption number of uh, pieces so it gives the consumption value and based on that abc should be done and based on that abc classification we can also do ordering right whether they are doing it or not so that can be a good measure for stores department and then um, we are coming to hr department in hr department again i am talking about hr in a manufacturing industry so here the key performance indicators can be the monthly absenteeism uh, rate monthly attrition rate and department wise manpower utilization rate 
then uh, number of people who are doing late punches then overtime hours right department wise or section wise overtime hours and then training cost right that can be a good uh, kpi and finally you can also have employee satisfaction survey can be a good kpi so these are all the various you no know, kpis for different departments in a typical manufacturing company and if you are interested in learning more about lean operational excellence you can consider joining our courses uh, the first course is a free course which is a seven day program on lean manufacturing it talks about the basics of lean value stream mapping and five s you, you can also get a certification and if you want to learn more about lean there is a lean master course and uh, that's a paid course it's a 30 day program covering lean in a very very detailed manner and you will be able to identify the opportunities for improvement you will be able to implement them and you know uh, show a lot of benefits to the company and then we have manufacturing leadership program it's a program where a person wants to uh, you know improve their career from an engineer to a manager what are the things a person should know right he or she should know all the areas in a manufacturing company and what are the critical you know information or knowledge in all the departments so that's what we have covered in this particular manufacturing leadership program it talks about uh, production quality maintenance stores purchase hr safety then uh, excel tips powerpoint tips soft skills uh, email etiquette telephone etiquette so all the knowledge and skills that are required for a manager that's covered in this program so it is very very useful for uh, it will be very very useful for engineers and supervisors in manufacturing industry so this is a 30 day program again uh, both these programs cost just 999 rupees only and you can consider joining these programs i am giving the link in the description and uh, the top comments of the week is from mr jaydeepan from sri lanka and uh, mr shridhar who has watched our lean fivers videos so thank you very much for the comments and question time is mttr and mtbf they are they are kpis for which department uh, quality maintenance or production planning you can give your answers in the comment section and one lucky winner will get a gift from us so thank you very much for watching i'll talk to you guys in the next video see you bye bye